Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. Welcome again to Satopant. The lake is right here behind me, beautiful. I want to introduce you to, to my cave, to the place where I have been, you know, staying already a couple of nights. I will be here for another six, seven days, ten days all together for the whole expedition. And, uh, you know, this is really uh, raw spiritual training. Very often, when you uh, think about, you know, training your body or doing some yoga, this will be within the, the comfort of, uh, you know, a nice yoga studio. You have nice cups of tea and uh, you have your nice uh, cozy yoga mat and so on. And all that is really great, but you have lots of approaches which have nothing to do with that. Uh, mystical approaches that take you into the desert you know, to the Sufi or Muslim tradition, you have the Buddhists that go into uh, big caves as well. If you look at the way the, you know, Tibetan monks train, the way the sadhus uh, experience their spiritual path here is very similar to what I'm doing here, except that I have a little bit more comfort, a little bit more equipped, you know, with the West kind of gear, you know, maybe a warmer sleeping bag and a nice dawn jacket and so on but otherwise the you know the impulse is very much similar so i want to show you where i'm doing all that this is intense sadhana or yoga yoga practice or uh, training uh, spiritual practice for uh, for 10 days and uh, yeah it is intense it's not the traditional 250 hours teacher training that you have in most yoga schools, this is different. It is Tantra, yoga, or you can call it whatever you want. Uh, for me, I call that now because it's a new lineage. I call that Rajaya Tantra because it involves a whole set of techniques and practices that I'm developing uh, right now. So let's go into the cave and check how things are inside of there. So that it gives you an idea. So the first thing is really to you know, to get in. This is really... Uh, you have to crawl inside. And once you are in... This is the little entrance. Uh, I did put my tent outside, by the way, because just in case it would get too humid here, you know, I didn't get storms yet. But uh, it could be that maybe water would be streaming here, so I want to have just the security of, uh, of that. I have my food supplies right there. Some water that I go and get from the river and the lake nearby with a few uh, things, Chawan Prash and Ayurvedic powders. And in there I have the big box. Uh, that I found here in another cave. I have the, you know, flower nuts and seeds and so on. As you can see, it's very simple. Some of my writings here, some Ayurvedic oil. And, uh, you know, it's very small. There isn't much space in there. And uh, this is another reason why very often these kind of experiences, you cannot uh, really do them with, with a group and you would have to set it up differently. But because basically the space and also the temples, the inner realities you enter in, very often are just for you at that time. Uh, I met this very wise old woman many, many years ago and I was wanting to go and travel with uh, a female friend that I had at that time and uh, but she was very reluctant to take the trip and I was like but we have to do that together and I didn't understand why this was not going to happen to the two of us and um, uh, this old woman that I met by by coincidence she she said uh, something really wise and it is there are many temples the, in which you can only enter alone. You cannot enter holding somebody else's hand. And that's not the case for every spiritual experience, but for many spiritual experiences, 
Yes, many of them you are being called by yourself because you are the person, the being who is ready at the time. And uh, you, you trust, you move forward and you enter into that temple and uh, that's like an initiation, that's like a diploma, a spiritual initiation that you receive at the time and it's only for you. So obviously what's happening here, uh, it's only for me right now. Uh, the depth and the intensity of what's happening here, it's only for, for me, for my being. And, uh, but the good news is that we have technology and I can share a little bit of it <laughs> with you. So I don't get a massive roadblock telling me not to do this. No, on the contrary, I'm being told or given the strong feeling that um, for you to realize a little bit what's happening in these places gives you, you know, a hint, uh, gives you a, a window and allows you to understand certain aspects of, of the spiritual path that you would not be able to see otherwise. So documenting this experience is quite uh, important. So I have my no sleeping bag here and uh, I sit down and meditate here for long periods of time. Also lay down dur during the day and go into, um, you know, m practices, mental practices, uh, mental training practices that I that I developed as well. And um, there is an element that came in. Uh, it is that I have a little uh, mat here on which uh, that uh, that I like a term I raise, but a different brand that I sleep on, but uh, it's leaking. So it gets empty. <laughs> the air gets out within like uh, 15 minutes, half an hour. And I'm right on the rocks then. So that's another aspect of the training that I'm going through right now. It is, I need to sleep for these uh, few days directly on the rocks. And uh, I mean, it's rocks. <laughs> it's, uh, I'm not sure if you tried, have you tried to sleep on, sleep on marble, you know, on a marble floor, for instance, directly on the cold floor. Uh, yeah, it takes a while for your body to get used to it. So the first night was really, really tough. I struggled quite a lot. I was moving and uh, really like trying to find a position that didn't hurt my bones and my hips and uh, my shoulders and my knees. But last night, wow, something started happening, which is that I started finding the, the comfort into it. And, uh, and basically this is part uh, of the training as well. Uh, I will talk more about uh, discomfort and pain and stretching your body to limits, you know, and uh, what it does really to, to, to your brain, to your, to your body when you go into these levels, when you start tapping into survival and uh, getting out of your comfort zone. And obviously right here, I'm already in my, out of my comfort zone, uh, but somehow, you know, over the years, I started becoming comfortable to be in environments like that. But now what I still had was a little comfort of a little mat. <laughs> and this was taken away from me as well because I guess that's something I need to explore. So um, I will talk a uh, more about all that, uh, you know, physical pain and, and uh, suffering and pushing your body and, uh, you know, what it, what it does to your mind. And I must say that after a couple of days of sleeping on the ground directly, See, my mind is really bright and, and active. I feel like uh, a very high level of uh, clarity inside of me. Yeah, that's it. That's all I wanted to say for now. Uh, greetings from my Satopan cave here, where I'm doing my 10 days of intense sadhana, intense spiritual practice, training, exploration to bring you back lots of juicy ideas, jewels and techniques. Pure absolute silence. Emptiness and at the same time pure energy. Please to you. Please to you. I love you. Bye bye.